Stendhal is a fun multiplayer online adventure game. It's completely free to play and it's also completely free and open sourced. So if you do start playing and get hooked and you want to know what's going on behind the scenes, then you can download any of our um, source code, you can check out our development page here and then you can add your own ideas. So, for the moment, if you just want to create an account, that's really easy. Just come to stendorgame.org. You can play it using your Windows PC, Mac, or Linux, as long as you've got Java installed. And then just come here and create an account and start playing. Here's an account of mine that I can show you to demonstrate. She's got a hungry cat, and she's in the middle of Semmer City. As you can see, the game has got a really nice retro, old-school feel with 2D graphics. There are creatures that might come and attack you and there are non-playing characters walking around. You can interact with those non-playing characters by having a conversation and you can kill the creatures, well, just by clicking on them and then take items that are in their corpses. The creatures vary from rats, which are absolutely no challenge like those, all the way up to huge archangel and arachnes, which um, are very high level and they're one of the biggest challenges in the game. There's other players hanging around, um, playing as well, and it helps if you fight with them, because obviously <laughs> the more hands-on, the better. There's over 250 non-playing characters that you can meet in the game, and they've got a huge variety of functions. This non-playing character here is a healer, but she may also offer a quest. There's over 100 quests in the game, and they could be anything from healing the sick, or passing messages, or killing some creatures that need to be killed, or solving a puzzle, playing a game, or collecting hidden items. Um, there's really a big variety. So I'm going to go and show you now what the dungeons look like so that you can see some of the different zones in the game. This is just one of many. It really is a huge world. Here's some dungeons and you can go much deeper below the ground. There's seven levels of dungeons just here. We can go back to the city. There's also plains, forests, there are um, mountains, there are lakes and rivers, and there's really just a, a massive world to explore. There's also lots of different races of creature, like elves and dwarfs, that you can go and fight. So that's all I'm going to show you for now, but if you do want to come and play, just come back to standorgame.org, click play now and you'll be prompted to create an account and so provided that you've got Java installed, you can play with absolutely no problem and there'll be an initial tutorial to help you through the game. Okay, thanks very much for your attention and I really hope to see you soon. Bye!